in this video, I want to show you how you can deploy a log antics workspace and how you can connect an Azure VM onto the log antics workspace. So you can actually have a logging solution, a central logging solution in Azure with the help of the log antics workspace. And you can send different logging information from resources such as your Azure VMs onto the log antics workspace. So first I'll show you how do you actually configure the Azure VM with the log antics workspace. And then we look at Terraform and see how we can implement this same scenario. Now here on the Azure platform, I have a Windows based, Windows Server 2019 based virtual machine. Now let's say I want to send data pertinent onto this VM onto a log antics workspace. The first thing I need to do is to create a log antics workspace. So in all resources, I'll hit on create. I'll search for log antics workspace. Hit on create. I'll scroll down, select an existing resource group. Give a workspace name. Choose the location, contacts, go on to review and create. And let's go ahead and hit on create. Let's wait till this is complete. This will just take a couple of minutes. Now, once the deployment of the log antics workspace is complete, we can go ahead on to the resource. Now, the next step is to connect your Azure VMs onto the log antics workspace. So if you go on to virtual machines, I can see app VM in place. Currently it is not connected. I can click on this and then I can hit on the connect button. Now, when you hit the connect button, what happens is let me go on to app VM. Let me go on to extensions. So there'll be an extension that actually gets installed. This will install the Microsoft monitoring agent. And it is this Microsoft monitoring agent that is going to send the log data onto the log antics workspace. So I'll go ahead and hit on connect and it will start the deployment of that extension. Now this might take around four to five minutes. Let's wait till this is complete. Now after waiting for around four to five minutes, if I go on to my workspace, I can see now my app VM is connected onto this log antics workspace. And if I go on to app VM and in extensions and applications, if I hit on refresh, I can now see that it has installed the Microsoft monitoring agent. Now, next we have to configure what is a data that needs to be collected from this Azure VM. So we can go on to agent configuration. Yeah, we can collect windows event logs, windows performance counters, Linux performance counters. You can also collect syslog and is logs as well. So you can choose, for example, windows event logs. Yeah, for example, if you want to take all the application logs from the Azure VM, the error, the warning and the information, you can choose that and then hit on apply. And then the data will start getting streamed from the Azure VM onto the log antics workspace. If you want to see the logs, you have to go onto logs here. You can expand this and you will see tables given here. Now, currently there is no table for the logs because it does take time. It can take initially around 15 minutes for the logs to show up in the log antics workspace. But here the entire idea is just to show you how do you deploy a log antics workspace and how do you connect a VM onto a log antics workspace. Now, another important point is you can also connect any machine in your on-premises network onto the log antics workspace as well. When you connect another machine, you have to ensure that you give the workspace ID. So if you go on to agent management, you can download the agent has a manual installation. And in the manual installation, you have to configure that agent to connect onto this log antics workspace. And when you connect onto the log antics workspace via the agent, if you're doing this manually, 
Then you have to give the workspace ID and has a password. You have to give either the primary or the secondary key. Now, the reason I'm telling you this is because in Terraform, when you actually do the uh, attachment of the VM onto the log annex workspace, at that point in time, we have to mention the workspace ID and this primary or secondary key. Now, I'll go ahead on to the resource group. I'll delete the resource group that has all of my resources. So we are going to create now a Terraform configuration file that's going to create an Azure VM. So in an earlier video, I've already showed you how to create an Azure VM. We'll create a log antics workspace. We'll ensure the VM is actually attached onto the log antics workspace and we'll ensure to have a setting in place that sends data onto the log antics workspace. So let's go ahead. So firstly, in my Terraform configuration file, I'm going to paste in the resource code, first of all, just for the deployment of a virtual machine that's part of a virtual network. So again, we've already seen this in a previous video. What I want to do is I want to deploy the log antics workspace. So for this, we have to use the resource of Azure RM log antics workspace. So I'll scroll down. Let me copy this resource block. Let me paste it here. I'll just give a name for the resource and a name for the log annex workspace as well. Then we need the resource group location and name. So I can take it from here. So in terms of the name, and the location. Next, this queue remains the same. So it's basically per GB and you can specify a retention in days for your data. So this will now create the log Antix workspace. Now, next, we need to deploy that Microsoft monitoring agent has an extension. So remember that when we connected our VM in the log Antix workspace, what happened actually is an extension got installed, the Microsoft Monitoring Agent extension on the VM. And that extension will then connect onto the Log Attix workspace. So we need to deploy that extension, but this will be based on the Microsoft Monitoring Agent. Now here I'm pasting in the code when it comes on to the deployment of that virtual machine extension. Here I need to give what is the ID of my virtual machine. Here I have to give the publisher what is the type. So it's Microsoft monitoring agent. What is the type handler version? And then if I scroll down, I have to give what is the workspace ID and what is the workspace key. So I told you that when we connect this VM onto the log annex workspace, we will need to use that ID. And in the workspace key, we can choose either the primary or the secondary key. And here what I'm doing is I'm just taking the VM workspace, which we have defined earlier on here, dot the workspace ID and here the primary shared key. So I'm ensuring that it is put into place when we are defining this extension. Here we are having a protected setting in place since this is like having a password, the key, it makes it more secure in the deployment process. So we have this extension now. The next thing is to add the resource for the collection of data. So if I scroll down onto log antics, we can ensure to now add either performance counter data or Windows event. So if I go on to Windows event, here we can actually copy the resource that will actually stream Windows events onto our log addicts workspace. So I can copy this here. Yeah, I can give a name for the resource and similarly a name here as well. Then the resource group name again. And what is the name of the workspace? So it's VM workspace. 
what is event log so let's say you want to stream the application event log and what are the event types if you only want the application errors to be streamed onto the log antics workspace so we go on to Azure. let's ensure that we don't have any resources when it comes on to the app grp i have this network watcher i can go ahead and delete this as well so that we don't have any resources in place yeah let me save this and let's go on to the terminal let's create a plan once the plan is done let me hit on apply so this will take some time let's come back once the deployment is complete now once the deployment is complete so if i hit on refresh in all resources so i can see my app vm in place i can see my log antics workspace also in place if i go on to agent configuration i can see the application log has also been configured and if i go on to virtual machines i can see app vm is connected onto this workspace so in this video just want to show you how you can deploy an azure vm along with the log annex workspace and how do you connect the vm onto the workspace itself.